day in the garden, and Poppy and her friends were jumping on the trampoline when Zuzu rushed in with a surprise. hey oh, Hello, Zuzu! Whoa! Guess what I have! Um, a new skateboard? Nope! Something even better! A dog bed full of fleas. Well, I have that, but this is something even better! A new pogo stick? I do! It's a letter from a princess who needs our help! No and no. Whoa! Okay, Zuzu, we give up. Oh. What is it? It's a singing cricket! Isn't he great? I traded my favorite chewy bone for him. He's fantastic. He's awfully cute for a bug, I mean. He's supposed to sing all sorts of songs. Go ahead, Mr. Cricket, sing us a song. That's singing? It was almost singing. Kind of. Oh, nonsense. All crickets can do that. This cricket was supposed to sing with words and everything. Zuzu, didn't you hear him sing before you traded your chewy bone? No, but why would somebody lie about that? No doubt, because they wanted your chewy bone. Zuzu, I'm afraid you've been cheated. Some people can be very tricky. He may not be able to sing a song, but it makes a lovely sound. I should have known better. Who's ever heard of a singing cricket? Maybe. This cricket only sings when he's in a special place. Like in his bedroom, or in cricket school, or in the tub. I certainly do my best singing in the tub. Zuzu, I bet we can find a place where crickets like to sing. We just have to go on a little adventure. <laughs> Who's going on an adventure? We are Egbert. Would you like to come along? No thanks, Poppy Cat. But don't you want to hear a cricket sing a song? We have no time for singing crickets. I'm very busy doing top secret stuff with this pile of dirt. And don't try to trick me into tell you what I'm doing with it, please. Goodbye. Poppy, it would be great if we could find a place where my cricket would like to sing. Then let's go. But first, we're going to need a hot air balloon. Maybe your cricket would like to sing instead. Come on, cricket. Just one little song. Doesn't even have to be a song I like. Any luck, Zuzu? No. I don't think he likes being so high up. I know how he feels. You just never know what might be in these clouds. Oh! Well, hello! Hey there, Gilda. Nice day for a fly. Of course, I do love to fly. Who's your cute little friend? That's Zuzu singing cricket. Singing cricket? Does he take requests? <laughs> Let's see. Now, what song could I ask him to sing? I don't suppose he knows a good polka. Actually, Gilda, he doesn't want to sing at the moment. Not even a polka? Oh. He might sing. We just have to find the right place. 
Do you know of any special places where crickets like to sing? Not really. But I know a pond where the bullfrogs like to play banjos. Oh, look at the time! I've got to go. Long flight home, all the way across Cricket Meadow. Cricket Meadow? Yes, just over by those trees. Lovely place. If it weren't for all that noisy cricket singing. <laughs> Ta-da! <sighs> of all the pigeons in the world. You know, something tells me Cricket Meadow might be just the place we're looking for. Hang on, everybody! <laughs> Attack. That can only mean one thing. Expert. I'm not expert. I'm Billy the Bad Bug Man, and I need to inspect your balloon. Why do you have to do that? Because you broke the rules. We didn't break any rules. I'll be the judge of that. Everyone, out of the balloon. Aha! I knew it! You're not allowed around here with a cricket! Hand him over! But he's mine! Not anymore! It's my job to make sure there are no bugs on this mountain! Give him to me! No! <sighs> now look what you've done, Egbert! You've scared the cricket away! <laughs> of course I scared him. That's what makes me an excellent bad bug man. <laughs> Egbert. Uh, Billy, that was a very special cricket. It was? Yes, a singing cricket. Well, then, that's different. Singing crickets are allowed. Now you tell us. I could help you find him. Really? Bobby Cat. I'm only the best bug finder on this whole mountain. Uh, I think we should go that way. You don't know which way to go, do you? Not really. But you were supposed to be the best bug finder on the whole mountain. I am. I just forget things sometimes. It's going to be dark soon. But if it's dark, then we can't see where we're going. And if we can't see where we're going, I have to go. I think I hear my mommy calling. It is getting dark. Should we go back too? But I really want to find my cricket. I mean, even though he doesn't sing, I still like him. But it's much too dark to find anything. I know how we can light our way. <gasps> Fireflies! Brilliant idea, Poppy. We can always count on you. Something. It's coming from over there. Follow me. your chewy bone, we would never have been able to hear such a beautiful concert. And the best part is that I got to share him with all of you. <laughs> it's certainly better 
than sharing your chewy bone. No. <laughs> Enjoyed the magical night out on Cricket Meadow. When the concert was over, Poppy and her friends flew their balloon back to the garden. And they all said goodbye and promised to go on another extraordinary adventure very soon. The end. I love our story time, Poppy. Almost as much as I love you. Cat, I've made up a brand new story to tell you. Are you comfortable? Yeah. Good. It's called Poppy Cat and the Search for the Trumpet Tree Forest. It was a very windy day, and Poppy and her friends were having fun finding things for our scrapbook. Oh, my feather! Owl probably has enough of those already. Hi, Egbert. Want to help us find things for Owl Scrapbook? No, thank you, Puppy Cat. I'm very busy building a super big pile of sticks. Okay, bye. <laughs> Look what we have for you, Owl. Sheep's wool, honeysuckle, a bus ticket. Oh, it's going to be a beautiful scrapbook. Thank you so much. Let's find more things, Poppy. Want to come, Mo? I'd love to, Alma, but I'm still trying to learn this tune. It just doesn't sound right. Look what I got! Oh, thank you, Zuzu, but it's going to be hard to put a rock in my scrapbook. Then I'll keep it if that's okay. I have a feeling it's my new lucky stone. I thought you already had a lucky stone, Zuzu. I used to have one, but I lost it. So I guess it wasn't so lucky after all. Let's have a race to the end of the field! Whoa! You all right, Mo? I'm fine. But my trumpet's not. I'm sorry, Mo. It's just that when that leaf blew in my face... It's so pretty! I've never seen anything like it. I believe that leaf must have blown in from the trumpet tree forest. Trumpet tree forest? Do trumpets grow on trumpet trees? I don't know. I've never seen a trumpet tree. If this leaf is so pretty, imagine how beautiful a whole forest of trumpet trees would be. Ah, oh, I have an idea. Why don't we take a trip and find the Trumpet Tree Forest? You mean, go on an adventure? Oh, good thinking. It's a perfect day for an adventure. It sure is, Owl. But first, we're going to need... a hot air balloon! <laughs> Sorry about your trumpet, Mo. We'll get something even better. Don't worry. Thank you, Poppy. 
When we find the tree, I'm gonna collect leaves, lots and lots, and I'm gonna make a beautiful dress. I'm gonna climb it. That leaf is so big, it's got to be a giant tree. And I'll take photographs for my scrapbook. Smile, everyone. Perfect. Oh! oh. Mind if I rest a moment? All this flying around. Hello, Gilda. You must know the trumpet trees. Know them like the back of my wing. That's your foot. Foot, wing, whatever. So, can you give us directions? Of course. We're heading south, yes? Uh, north. North? Well, that changes everything. I have no idea where anything is. I'm lucky I can find my nest. Thanks anyway, Gilda. Do you know what I love about flying? It's the people you meet. Ta-ta! Oh, that pigeon. Ignore him and continue on. All leaves belong to me! <gasps> Poppy, he's got my leaf! Don't worry, Alma. We'll get it back. Where was I? Oh, yes, I remember! I have to come aboard your balloon and... Oh, I try. Uh -oh. Now look what you've done! I didn't do anything! It was my glass! Goodbye! Hang on, everybody! Yay! Whew, safely down. Nice job, Poppy. Leave. We'll find another. We just have to find our way to the trumpet trees from here. Huh? Don't worry, little fella. I'm not going to eat you. Ah. Besides, I only eat pondweed now. I have more energy. My skin feels better. So, so what are you folks doing out here? We're trying to find the trumpet tree forest. Can you help us? Maybe draw us a map? <sighs> well, that'll mean paper, coloured pencils. You could draw it in the sand. Taking time out from my busy day. You can have my lucky stone if you like. Here. That's a good stone. OK, I'll draw your map. That was kind of you, Zuzu. You gave away your lucky stone. That's okay. It already brought us luck. We're gonna find the trumpet trees! According to the toad's map, it should be somewhere over... <gasps> there! Look! It's spectacular! It's just like a dream! <laughs> Oh, Pop, 
know why it's called a trumpet tree. See if it works. Good. This should get us home. Poppycat, you have many talents. Thank you, Owl. Gee, Mo's song is really so sweet. Let's go and dance. Not sure I'm much of a dancer, Poppy. Oh, give it a try, Owl. With music from the trumpet trees, everyone can dance. <laughs> danced until their feet were tired and then it was time for Poppy to fly them back to the garden and everyone had picked up a leaf from the ground to take home so they would always remember the trumpet tree forest the end sometimes I wish our stories never had to end you too um. <laughs> <laughs>